proudly we hail... stage begins, here's another program of a cast of outstanding players. Public service time has been made available by this station for your Air Force to bring you this story. As proudly we hail the United States Air Force. Our presentation is entitled Wrench Jacket. The team which makes up the Air Force is comprised of many players. The men who fly jet aircraft are often acclaimed, but the men who keep these jets in the air also play important parts in making our Air Force the proud defender of our country that it is. Our first act curtain will rise in just one moment. But first, if you're an ex-serviceman experienced in a critical case to keep America's air defense strong, well, then you're... The Career Incentive Act opens up new opportunities in the Air Force to veterans of all the armed forces. Yes, indeed. If you possess one of the skills the Air Force needs, you may be qualified for the United States Air Force and in a grade that will be a real pleasant surprise. You see, right now, the Air Force needs men skilled in many important fields. So put your service-earned experience to work to your best advantage as a member of the Air Force. Make the credit you've earned toward a comfortable retirement pay off. For complete details, you write or visit your Air Force recruiter. Ask them for the special prior serviceman folder. Now remember, that's called the special prior serviceman folder. See what a return to the service as an airman can mean to you. Remember, fellas, today and tomorrow, you're better off in the United States Air Force. And now your Air Force presents the proudly we held production, Wrench Jockey. Los Angeles, Albuquerque, and Kansas City. All aboard for St. Louis and Chicago. All aboard. Renita! Renita! Tex! Oh, I miss yeah. you. How is my favorite airman first class? Oh, fine. Hey, look at that new locker there. Yeah, so did I myself. You look wonderful. So can. Well, I did get to the beach a couple of times in between work and classes. Is that all the baggage you've got? Oh, no, I've got another big one checked through. Oh, well, come on. I'll get my car and we'll pick it up at the stand. Boy, it's great to be back. <laughs> Seems as though you've been gone for years. Tell me all about California, Master Sergeant. Uh, it was great. Not just getting a promotion at the end, either. You deserved it, every bit of it. The promotion and getting to go to the course. Oh, thanks. But now that you outrank me by only two days, maybe you won't speak to me anymore. Uh-huh. Well, what about the course? Interesting? Oh, it was a terrific experience. I've been working on F-86 Sabres for three years now, but getting to go right to the North American factory for this course has really been a break. I never thought there was so much stuff I didn't know. You know, tricks and stuff that they figured out with. With what I've learned, the whole outfit's going to take a maintenance quoted jump that'll knock their eyes out. Oh, sounds as though you're going to be busy. Well, after all, that's basically the reason they send a guy like me to one of those courses. When you get back, you can spread your knowledge around, and that way only one guy has to go instead of a whole bunch. I was just lucky they picked me. I know. It's the way I felt last year when I went down the bench to the School of Aviation Medicine. Terrific, you know, to think of the wonderful education you can get. Well, it's that, but there's something else about being in the Air Force. Most important thing to me, really, feeling that you're doing something for your country. I guess that sounds kind of corny, but that's the way I feel. Oh, I go along with that. Actually, I hate to admit it, but I can't wait to get on the job Monday and start trying out some of the new stuff. No wonder they gave you that rocker. You're a real eager beaver. Well, everyone is working around the bent wing. Hey, how's the old hangar rat, by the way? Dave? Bye. You seen him lately? Oh, some. Wait till I show him some of the stuff I learned back at the plant. <laughs> he's gotten to be a regular old head around here, and now he's going to have to sit down and start learning from me. <laughs> you better not start swinging your weight around. You know how it is when people start telling you stuff you think you already know. Oh, gee, honey, give me credit for a little sense. He'll be as glad to hear it as I would. It was just the breaks, like I said, that I went instead of him. Yeah. Now let's talk about us. How about it? When are we going to get the date, huh? Well, at the risk of being coy, I 
say it's up to you. We said before you went on TV, why, of course, that we'd do it as soon as you came back. And? It's still gone. Good. I'll ask the captain when I can get some leave. I'll have to do the same. And the first ten days we can get off together, that'll be it. Sounds wonderful. Say, isn't that Joe's place up ahead there? How about stopping in and having a Coke or something to celebrate? You're not too tired? Too tired to celebrate once more, my girl saying yes. <laughs> okay. I don't have to get back. I'm through with till Monday. <laughs> Well, here's to the best girl in the world. And the best guy. What's this about the best guy? How about me? Dave, you old so and so. How you been for? Very good, you? Oh, wait till I tell you all about it. Oh, this guy's gonna be hard to get along with. You see it coming. He knows everything now. Sure, sure. It's too bad you couldn't take the course, fella, but you know they always send the most outstanding man in the outfit. I thought it was the other way around. They send the guy that needs it the most. <laughs> Listen, wait till I tell you about the new deal they've got on the brain box. I can't wait. But I'll bet Benita can. I I guess the shop talking wait. What have you been doing with yourself while I was gone, huh? Oh, nothing much. Been hot. You got a nice tan there, boy. You made the pizza? Of course it's why. Too busy to get there often. You got any movie stars? Yes, tell me about that. Since you had dates with Marilyn Monroe and everything. Heck, all the movie stars in the world don't hold a candle to my girl. I'm not saying it. <laughs> Pretty tactful, I'd say. But of course I don't believe the word of it. Well, about the only thing you missed around here was the picnic that he was out there had last week. Oh, yeah? Yes. Hay racing, baseball games, watermelon, hot dogs. All the fixings. Yeah, some fun. The rest is just the usual. Saturday dancing at the NCO club. How about uh, Sam Warner, he, uh, you know, he's the wire man. I know. I've got an imitation. Charles Lawton, Johnny Ray. Oh, he's terrific. He should be here. <laughs> yeah, and Liberace. I guess that way too much longer. Dull around here, huh? Oh, well, you know how it is. We always have a lot of fun. How come you were at the med picnic day to go with one of uh, Anita's girlfriends? Oh, they went with me. Well, sure, you know. You told me to keep an eye on her while you were gone. I couldn't think of an easier way than to take her to some of the city. Oh, fine. I suppose you enjoyed yourself. Sure, we had a fine time. Of course, it wasn't as much fun as if you'd been here. Sure. What a chump I turned out to be. I go on CGY knocking my brains out trying to get ahead. My best friend winds up stealing my girl while I'm gone. That's not true. You sure didn't waste any time. Oh, wait a minute. Don't hit the panic button. Go on, go on. Tell me more about what you two did. Well, if you weren't my best friend, I'd be tempted to. To what? You stop that, Nick Duncan. Stop it this minute. You stay out of it. I won't stay out of it. That's as much my business as it is safe. All we did all the time was talk about you and what you were doing and everything. Yeah, I'll bet. I don't know what you're trying to make out of this. But... I do. And I know what's going to be made out of it. You can just forget about everything we said in the car on the way back here. I wouldn't marry you if you were the last man on earth. Listen, you got it all wrong, kid. I think the world of Benita, but I wouldn't. You wouldn't. I suppose you had nothing to do with what just happened. She was just looking for an opening. Well, I gave it to him, and as far as I'm concerned, it's just as well. Listen, don't get so excited. I'm sorry. There's you. nothing more to tell. I got the whole picture just perfectly. Well, I don't think you do. So I'll just spell it out. There's nothing between Vanita and me, and there never has been. Come on, Tex. We've been friends too long for this to happen. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. Have it your own way. You always were a stubborn guy. I'd hate to lose a friend over a misunderstanding. But if you can't see it... I can't. Then maybe we'd better just drop the whole thing. Yeah. And you and me, too. You're a knucklehead, and you'll never be anything else. And I'm sorry for you. Well, that suits me just fine. Suits me fine. Well, say, Sergeant, your friends go off and leave you? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I got a boy in the Air Force. He's down in Florida. He is. Yeah, he's, he's going to make a career of it, too. Hey, do you think that's the right thing to do? Sure, sure, it's fine. Yeah, well, it's a pretty good life, I guess. They know if there's a bus comes by here to the base, sir? Yeah, about once now. It went just left. Hey, what's that you got there? Let me buy you one. It's huh? Coke and no thanks. Yeah? I guess I'll just have to go out and wait. Yeah, you got a long wait, Sergeant. Oh, come on. Have another one with me. No thanks. I, I'd rather be alone. Yeah? Okay. Have it your own way. You were back, Tex. Hey, you guys, it's the man himself. Hi there, Frank. Good to see you. Thank you back. Bet you can really give us a lot of new scoops. Sure can. Where did you see Hi, that? Dave. I bet this guy's been bending your ear over the weekend. Yeah, sure. You're good to have him back, huh? Yeah, hello, Tex. Hello, old Brack. Hey, you've got a new pipe jockey, Tex. Uh, have you met him yet? No, I heard that Lieutenant Anderson had left while I was gone. Well, I got stuff to do. See you around, Tex. Yeah. Hey, what's with you two? Something wrong? No, forget it. Hey, good morning, Lieutenant. Good morning, Sergeant. 
You haven't met your crew chief, Lieutenant. He's about the best around here. Lieutenant Baxter, this is Sergeant Tex Sergeant, glad to meet you. Same here, sir. I hear you've been on TDY to North American. I guess that makes you just about the most hep man around here. Well, I hope so, sir. Now, between us, I guess we'll manage to keep the ship in the air. Huh? Sure will, sir. Attention, please. Attention, please. There will be a special mission briefing for all pilots and crew chiefs in room 116, building 847. Attention, please. Well, that's us, Sergeant. Well, what's up, sir? That's right. You just got back. You don't know about Operation Stinger. No, sir. I hadn't heard anything. Well, I just might tell you. You'll hear it all over again and better in the briefing. Come on, we'll walk down together. Yes, sir. And that's the specific story. Now, a few general remarks to summarize. The official starting time will be 04.30 hours. That's tomorrow morning. Continuing for three full days. Remember now, combat conditions will be simulated exactly. And everything you've learned in the past is now going to count. And for the rules, the umpire's boss. So if he tells you that your or any given piece of equipment is knocked out, that'll be it. Now the same is true of injury. The umpire will determine the extent and the nature of the injury, and send you to the nearest aid station until the end of the exercise. Well, naturally, we hope it won't happen at all. We need every man and every aircraft in order to win. We are, of course, the defenders. The aggressor forces will be intercepted before they get into our area, but, of course, there's always a few who will get through. When they do, there'll be bombing and strafing attacks. I can't emphasize too strongly... The need for adhering to safety precautions against these. Losing an aircraft because it hasn't been properly parked, or losing a man because he hasn't taken cover during a raid, can lose the exercise for us. Well, I guess that's about it. Needless to say, good luck. We're all hoping for a, a winning team. Well, see what I mean? Yes, sir, I do. Sounds like it's going to be quite a deal. Roger. Now, with you on the ground, me in the air, we'll clobber him. But good. Sure thing, sir. Mm-hmm. You are listening to the proudly we hail production of Wrench Jockey, and we will return to our second act in just one moment. But first, when you make an investment, you want it to pay off, right? Well, men, how about those years you invested in the service, learning skills, gaining experience valuable to yourself? and your country. You can make those years pay off in big dividends today by becoming a member of the United States Air Force. Yes, indeed, if you've been in any of the armed forces, you may be eligible to enlist in the Air Force in a grade that'll be a real pleasant surprise. You see, right now, the Air Force needs men skilled in certain important fields, and you may be just such a man. If so, the Air Force offers you an opportunity to put your previous service experience to work and to collect on those credits you've earned toward a comfortable retirement. Your Air Force recruiter has a folder full of details. So you write or visit him right away. Ask for the prior serviceman's folder. Now remember, that's the prior serviceman's folder. Today and tomorrow, you're better off in the United States Air Force. You are listening to Proudly We Hail. And now we present the second act of Wrench Jockey. Shot flight, scramble, vector 310, Robies, 30, all sugar on bigger. I say, you don't happen to have an extra M27 oscillator around, do you? If I have to walk clear back. Oh, it's you. Yeah, it's me. Oh, never mind. What was it you said you needed? Nothing. Nothing at all from you. Listen, duty hours and off duty hours are two different things. The next scramble may be Jake flight, and you'd be down at the supply room, and they'd scramble late. Now, what do you want? An M27 oscillator, please. I've got one, thank you. For bogeys, I guess they were the real thing, sir. Mm-hmm. This time they said bandit. I hope so. We'll turn him back and watch. Yeah, we'll fly rings around him. Okay, sir. I think you're all set. Looks like. 
Two chief has the safety pin. Check. Okay, let's go. Right, sir. Ready to start engine. You're ready to start. Sail pipe temperature rising. Automatic flow on. Is this trench occupied or can anyone come in? Hey, my guess. Oh, hello, old Brad. Oh, come on, get in for Pete's sake. I can't help it if I... Listen. Ours? Can't see him yet to tell. Look like 84s. There's then. Some of them must have gotten through after all. Yeah. Hey, look at the markings on them. Yeah, a white triangle with a green circle and wings around it. They're the aggressors, all right, just like the briefing officer described them. Here they come. Almost ahead on the ops building. Yeah, lucky for those sandbags. Get down. Wow. Another close one right between the bunkers. Watch that one coming in over the runway. I think those were misses. Hope so. We need that one with the wind today. Too bad if I had to use the cross wind strip. There's another. Yeah. I'd have to get that one all right. weren't missus. Yeah, repair crews will be busy. Yeah, of course, I hate to see those guys loafing while we work. Are they leaving already? Coming around for another go, this time strafing, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Watch out, here they come. So this is how it really sounds. You know, I just don't like it. Me either. There's the Empire. I guess his daughters are still living. Lucky we ducked, we'd have had it. Down. Can't say I'm not glad this isn't the real thing. Real enough just to suit me. Hey, look. Yeah, those are ours. They must have chased off the masked gaggle and now they're coming back for the rest. Yeah, those guys are in for it now. Look, dogfight. Yeah, there's another one. They're all in it now. Hey, watch it. A hawk it, man. Crank it. It's close. Another guy just saved them. They're breaking off. They're leaving. Oh, I think it's all over. Yeah, for the time being, they're hightailing it for home. Yep, that's it. Well, we better get back to work. Our flight's going to be going bingo soon. Yeah. Well, so long. See you. Yeah. Juice wagon out there in the open? I'd sooner be in the bunker, but orders are to service all aircraft immediately they come in. Yeah, but why did the others come back meantime? The way I got it, that's the idea. Got to refuel them high out to so they can get off the ground. Well, if this was a real thing, you'd be riding a hot seat there. You're telling me. Hey, that must be them now. Look over there. I'm in awfully hot. Yeah, what's the idea? Hey! Those are 84s. Sneaked in under the radar. Or if they did pick them up, they probably thought it was the bent wings coming back. Gotta get this juice buggy out of here. We lose it and we've had it. Hurry it up, fella. Yeah. yeah. Welcome. Hope he made it all right. Don't see any umpires coming. I guess he did. And the truck's safe in the bunker. Listen, if they don't break this party up in a hurry, there's gotta be some flame out. Those first two flights only have about five minutes juice left. First go around was just a diversion. This is a main attack. Yeah, pretty sneaky. Close. Too close. Here comes the truck driver. I could get the cranks for real if this happened every day. Same here. Hey, what's that stuff? Well, it isn't dummy bombs. They're little sacks of white stuff. Pieces of paper. Secret weapon, maybe. Oh, wait, some of them are dropping toward us. Maybe we shouldn't touch them. Maybe they're supposed to be radiated. No. Yeah, I got one. Well, look, leafless. How about that? Hey, look. Men of the Defender Forces, mechanics, ground crews, lay down your tools. Hey, what a laugh. You will surely lose your lives if you continue to work near the airfield. Bring one of these with you and surrender. You will be treated with the utmost curse. Yeah. 
Join the fight for world peace. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's yeah, funny. You wonder who'd believe that stuff. Yeah. Look. What? Over there. That bulldozer. It's in its regular place. I know. It should be in a bunker. This wasn't used this morning, and no one thought about moving it. It's too bad. Those umpires notice it. It's a dead duck. Yeah, they're going to need it when they start to repair that runway. These things don't grow on trees. Well, it's not our problem. We got all our stuff on the front. I'm going to make a run for it. Oh, that's crazy, man. You can't make it. You ever drive one of those things? Yeah, and I can just make it if I wait till one of those guys comes over. Come on! Here comes another. He's almost there. I think he'll make it. He's getting in. Hey, what's the matter? Can't get the bulldozer started. There he goes. Uh-oh. There's an umpire. Oh, sorry, Doctor. That's what I find. Oh, sure. I was inside the bunker when that guy started the strain. I'm sorry, fella. Have to give you a leg injury. Oh, gee. Well, what about the dozer? Okay, we'll give you credit for saving it. Oh, thanks, sir. Uh, you just wait here now. After the medics fix me up, I can get back, though, huh? Oh, no. I'm afraid you're out for the balance of singers. Oh, gee, we have wonderful medics. They can fix me up and get me back this afternoon. With a broken leg? Oh, hey. <laughs> Ah, uh, you'll have to go to the aid station. So just fly quiet, Doctor. You'll be all right. Zach, you out? Yeah, darn it. Well, don't worry about it. I guess I can take care of your plane, okay? Well, thanks. Okay, now, Sergeant. Better be going. Yeah, sure. sure. the end of your finger and get some blood. Hey, Vanita, it's me, Tex. Just an exercise. I know. Listen, I, I, I've got something to tell you. Seems to me the last time it was me trying to tell you something. I know. Vanita, what I want to tell you is... I'm sorry. Oh? Honest, I, I don't know what came over me. Well, neither do I. Look, uh, uh, couldn't you... Uh, couldn't you forget it? Well, it's asking an awful lot. It hurts when someone you you care about shows they don't trust you. Oh, gee, honey, I know how it is. I've been thinking about it ever since, trying to figure out how to make it up with you. Well... Please? I... If you'll say the same thing today... Say what today? Oh, gee, am I glad to see you. You can get up, you lazy stiff. It's all over. Mm -hmm. That's right. Look at your watch. Coop's got it. We wanted to walk. No kidding. And confidentially, I hate to tell you, but the captain got it from the colonel. We never would have done it if we hadn't been able to get that strip repaired. What are you talking about? Oh, that's how our hero here got tagged. He rescued a bulldozer. If we'd lost it, we'd have had to operate without a runway they needed. That's wonderful. Now, listen, will you please quit talking, both of you? I've got something to say to Dave. Why don't you skip the whole thing, huh? No, no, I, I want you to know. I do know. Just let me finish. I hear the captain's waiting for you. He kind of wants to see to it you get a leave right quick. I mentioned you might be wanting one. You did? I asked for my leave next week. What? Oh, I knew you weren't that dumb and all. Gee, I, I feel like And it. Saturday's the day, didn't you? I'm so happy I can't think. Me too. Just so you don't get any ideas about anyone else, the best man. Well, don't you worry about that. You're it. Isn't he, honey? Well... Let's see. That's the best. Opportunity. Opportunity is a word that's been used in proclamations, campaigns, and slogans since the dawn of American independence. And believe me, there's no hollow sound to its usage either. So this land of ours is truly blessed with more opportunities for success than, well, any other nation on earth. Today, your Air Force is offering ambitious young men greater opportunities for success than ever before. As an airman, you'll receive free specialized training in one of the hundreds of Air Force career assignments. And there are careers to suit every interest, such as communications, radar, air traffic control, and many, many others. And as an airman, you'll wear that smart, handsome blue Air Force uniform, and you'll serve in fascinating assignments at home and abroad. 
and you'll be a member of a wonderful organization that has won the respect and admiration of people everywhere. Yes, indeed, your United States Air Force is made up of outstanding young men who are going places in highly skilled, good-paying careers. Find out soon about your opportunities as an airman. You visit your nearest Air Force recruiting station at your earliest opportunity. And speaking of opportunity, you know, you gentlemen that have already served your tour of duty, well, you fall into the category of what we call service veterans. Well, all you service veterans, you listen real carefully because this message is just for you. You know, you may be qualified to enlist in the United States Air Force in a grade that'll be a real pleasant surprise to you. If you possess one of the critical skills needed to keep America's air defense strong, then the Air Force offers you an opportunity to put your skill to work and at a higher grade and with higher pay than you may realize. The Air Force needs experience and know-how gained in the armed forces. And now, thanks to the new Career Incentive Act, you can put your service gain skills to work to your best advantage by returning to the armed forces as a member of the Air Force team. You write or visit your Air Force recruiter for the special prior serviceman's folder. It's full of important details. You leaf through this little folder, fellas, and you'll see why I keep saying over and over again, today and tomorrow, you're better off in the United States Air Force. been another program on Proudly We Hail, presented transcribed in cooperation with this radio station. Proudly We Hail is produced by the Recruiting Publicity Center in New York for the United States Air Force, and this is Dick Herbert speaking, and inviting you to tune in to the same station next week for another interesting story on Proudly We Hail.